quick video, uh, another kind of random topic, back to the uh, some more Arduino stuff. Uh, what I have here is the beginnings of my DAC project. Um, what I needed a few times now in uh, work and otherwise was some condition monitoring equipment. And uh, as most know, uh, a DAC or con condition monitoring equipment itself is, is very uh, cost prohibitive. So uh, what I did here, uh, last night I, I set up the Pro Mini uh, It's plugged into the programmer powered by the laptop. And what I hooked up here is one of, uh, just a piezo transducer. Uh, it's hooked up in parallel with a one mega ohm resistor across to the analog input. And uh, uh, I think I, I, I'm doing some research now to see there is some issues with doing this still, even with the one mega ohm resistor, there's uh, the chance of getting some serious surges and whatever. So I may redesign this and go with a shot key diode and uh, some other circuitry but at its core these things are nothing for cost and uh, it's working as a as a direct interface so what I have up here let's see if I can zoom in a little bit instead of using the screen capture software hopefully it focuses what I have running is PLX DAC uh, it's PLS PLX dash DAQ you can find it on the net it was not designed to work with Arduino. They don't support the Arduino, but I can tell you it works fine with Arduino. So uh, I've got it live hooked. It's pulling the, the serial data right now. And I'll go ahead and tap on the, just this is the lightest tap possible on the piezo. And you can see it's registering no problem. I have both charts going to the same data point right now. So it's displaying two different channels is the same thing. but. Anyway, um, a little more severe tap, and we max out the scale. Uh, running it this way without a digital sensor is not optimal. We only have uh, a limited amount of sample points on the analog end, but this should be good enough for, for me for now. We'll do it as the ultra cheap Jack DAC project, hopefully. So uh, it's collecting to Excel just fine via serial. So uh, that in itself is good enough for me and pretty handy, but. Uh, Later on, we'll take and move this over to an SD card and uh, removable storage or stream it. I'm not sure. depends on how I decide to go. I'll uh, start with the SD card first and stream it to that. That way I don't have to have it hooked to a laptop. And uh, where I intend on using this, there's not Ethernet available to pump it right out into the onto the NAT or uh, wireless. I uh, could do it Bluetooth to a phone too as well, but we'll investigate that as we move along. Anyway, um, that's it running. Uh, you can set up charts any which way you want. Um, anything you can do in Excel, you can just make it display the live data that way. Very, very easy to work with. Excellent program. Like I said, they don't support Arduino though. Um, with that said, one of the uh, other items I worked on last night, and this will be an add-on to it, is the Nokia 5110 displays, these ultra-cheap eBay cell phone displays. Uh, I hooked it up to the Uno just so I can kind of do two things at once and uh, I was able to get it functional in like just a matter of a couple seconds basically. It worked right out of the box with the Adafruit library and the Adafruit driver. We'll see if it works today. Hopefully it boots up and does its thing. Uh, this is a... Uh, it's hooked directly to the Uno. The, when you Google it you're going to find that that's a really bad idea for long term. You need to do some resistors on there. but. Uh, for now, it's, uh, I'm not too concerned. It's not going to cook the display in a minute or anything. But uh, yeah, there it is running the example sketch right from Adafruit, no problem. Just a bunch of random patterns and shapes and whatnot, which is kind of handy because you can plagiarize those out of the code and make it do what you want. So uh, yeah, that's it hooked to the Uno, working good, no problems. I'm trying to use a tripod today. My videos are horribly shaky and pretty random content, but I'll try and make them a little better someday. Uh, anyway, that's about it. Um, what I'm going to do is finish off the the Pro Mini and uh, get that hooked up and functional with uh, some more channels, maybe some temperature, maybe a pressure transducer. I'm not sure how far I'm going to go, and I'm going to hook this up as well as the storage. I hope. Um, if I can't do it on the Pro Mini. 
I haven't even run the numbers yet. If I can't do all of it on the Pro Mini, then I'll move up to the Uno. But I'd like to keep it small, and I'm going to 3D print um, a case. And this will display live values uh, that are going to the storage or whatever mode I choose and uh, allow the user to see the multiple channels, the live value. And what I'll do from there is uh, these are some rare earth magnets I have. I have a whole bunch of them. This is part of my solid oodle uh, fan duct I'm going to take and uh, 3D print a case for these. Really small, thin 3D printed case with the magnet on the back so when these are applied to the metal surface we get good uh, transfer of movement vibration to the piezo. And uh, I can print those on the printer, no problem. And uh, then I'll have cases for that, make a final case for the entire unit. And that'll be the project for now. I don't know where it's going to head, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll just call it a, an ultra cheap uh, condition monitoring or DAC project, and it can be configured however we want voltage, current, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So we'll just uh, kind of make it a one size fits all. Anyway, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching.